In this video, I'm going to show you the basics of Japanese ad hoc party so you can play Monster Hunter Portable 3rd online with your friends. We'll set up a room, quickly find our friends in a room they've already set up, and learn a trick or two. Let's get started. Japanese ad hoc party isn't much different from regular ad hoc party. In fact, if you're not familiar with using ad hoc party at all, I'd suggest familiarizing yourself with the version in your native language because I'm only covering the basics in this video. All of the menu options are in the exact same places. So if it's all the same, what's different? Japanese Ad Hoc Party has a special section dedicated to Monster Hunter Portable 3rd. From the title screen, press the L1 or R1 button, and you'll jump to the special section. Mmm, look at that, Janoga. <coughs> Sorry, I meant, uh, Zenoger. Yeah, it's a, it's a great Zenoger right there. <sighs> anyway. To set up a room, select the first option. If you've used Ad Hoc Party before, the screen you see now should look pretty familiar. You can go ahead and choose a lobby and set up a room pretty much anywhere you like. But it is important to note that Japanese Ad Hoc Party for Monster Hunter is divided into three different sections. There are lobbies for low rank play, high rank play, and either one. You can tell which by looking at the Japanese characters in the middle of the lobby wheel. If you want an easy way to remember, just look at the first character. Low rank looks like a stick pointing down, and high rank is pointing upwards. Press circle and create a room by choosing the second option from the menu. Let's look at each option. The room name is the only required piece of information. It's automatically set to your PSN handle, but you can change it to whatever you like. You can also enter a longer description about the room, but it's not required. Note that if you'd like to set a password, you're limited to 8 characters. Passwords are case sensitive. I usually leave the last two options alone, but the first allows you to disable or enable voice chat for the whole room, and the last option controls whether or not other people can find your room in search. When you have all that set up the way you like, choose the final option at the bottom to create your room. If one of your PSN friends has already created a room, it's, it's easy to find. From the title screen, select the second option. Hit the circle button one more time, and you'll see a list of your PSN friends that are online and have created a room. Select one of them and hit the confirm button again, and you'll jump to the lobby where their room is. Move your cursor over to the room and press the circle button. The first menu option will tell you who is in the room, and the second will allow you to enter. If there's a password set in the room, you'll be asked to enter it when you go in. After entering the password, if you get a message that looks like this, it means you've entered the wrong password. Remember, passwords are case sensitive, so check them carefully. Once you're in the room, you're ready to play. If you're playing on a PSP, go to your online gathering hall. If you're playing Monster Hunter Portable 3rd HD, press R2 to start your game, load your character, and then go to the online gathering hall as well. Yes, the PS3 and PSP versions of the game can play online together. While you're in the room, press the start button to bring up the chat window. You can enter a message, but not a very long one. Pressing select will allow you to set a title for yourself. Directional buttons can be used to play sounds. And you can use the left stick to select a weapon icon for yourself. This doesn't actually have any effect on the game, it's just for fun. I hope this video helps you out. If you have questions, go ahead and leave me a comment. Happy hunting.